segment so chi tea talk train of thought the series of an episode with brigadier dr minal lal so welcome to this episode thank you sir uh, in fact for being 27 years in an armed forces and also a part of an uh, larger corporate and into an education at the international level we have a very inter- uh, interesting conversation with dr minal lal on this tea talk ek bun soch ki It's an exclusive story of phase on TikTok in Bensorchki. Uh so welcome again. Thank you. Uh sir. now in fact uh, a business le- a lesson from the military like uh, what is the philosophy of uh, leadership and how you describe leadership as such? So actually uh, we have various types of leadership. Initially we had only military leadership. We had Alexander the Great, Julius Caesar and all that. After that we had religious leaders. who formed various religions they try to guide people in a for divine things then we had political leaders we had great leaders like abraham lincoln churchill etc then we had commercial and business leaders because business as we had industrial revolution in roughly around 1774 second industrial revolution is around 1870 third industrial revolution in 1967 which got internet and all that and now we are having inter- uh, indian uh, industrial revolution number 4 for artificial intelligence so when they realized the industry must be formed to give you more wealth because adam smith in 1767 76 wrote wealth of nation people came to know there is something known as wealth which country should have how to manage the wealth so they started having lot of business but ideas of business how to do business were not really known to people so mr fuel who is a mining engineer in france he in 19 late 19th century around 1870 1880 he wrote a book on business administration a mining engineer okay. he realized that industries are not being run managed properly so there is a lot of wastage of resources wastage of money the roi is less product is not happening so he realized that and then in late early 60s we had peter drucker who is known as today's management guru uh, father of the management he died at the age of 95 but he gave us a lot of management lessons so leadership has changed from military leadership to commercial leadership now because commerce economy has become the biggest part there it is the most important thing today we talk about us which is number one economy because they are 26 trillion plus we talk about china number two economy 21 trillion plus we are now the fifth economy so economy has become very very important because if you are economically strong you will be automatically military strong and your prestige and honor in the entire world will go up so leadership therefore has been shifted from military to religious to commercial to now commercial uh, leadership that is right. we talk management leadership which is now become very very important in addition to social leadership like we have mr anna azadi they are also very important for the government to for the government to understand if they are doing something which maybe may have some other uh, perception people may think something differently and they correct you and these leaders are very important for that Yeah. So basically, leadership is a mindset. Like what mindset. you say about absolute military leadership is a mindset because though we do not say today that leaders are born, but leaders can be made, and lot of qualities of the people who are born leaders inherit themselves. It is in their mind. When you say it is in the is a mindset, I fully agree. It is a mindset. A man knows that he is a leader. that he wants to do something different that he wants to do something for the people something good and they automatically become leader today a leader has to be accepted by his followers yeah. you cannot impose leadership yeah. and that acceptance comes from the people who see your qualities with with lot of powerful specs are you honest are you good are you professional are you technology technologically advanced are you people friendly do you love the people of the organization and above all do you put yourself to you put the organization above everything and not have any personal agenda 
Good. And that's how it is. Great. Uh, great uh, insights in terms of leadership. Now, what do you have to say on vulnerability uh, can be seen as an asset like? Sir, vulnerability is an asset. See, when we fail in anything, like recently we have not done well in Asia Cup, it's okay. We understand. From the failure, we learn a lot. We, from the vulnerability, we know where we're weak. So we take precautions to be strong. And that's why this is an asset because we learn from our failure. We learn from our weakness that resilience gives, makes us stand on a strong foot and that gives us success in the future. Good, great. And so what do you have to say about uh, team isn't an ancillary, it's a necessity like? So team is a necessity. As the technological advancement is happening, that hierarchy has changed. Now, one man from the top doesn't control everything. Because of the service industry, technology, infotech industry, we have team, team leaders. They are sitting in Singapore, they are sitting in Mumbai, they are sitting in Dubai. A team performs and the team has a team leader. It may be remotely controlled from London, New York, Mumbai, anywhere. But team is a must. We very, we, 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 there is a saying that if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Right. So we want to all go far and naturally team is therefore very, very important. Good, great. And so uh, when we talk in terms of military also, like you know, mission matters the most. So how we can have uh, correlate with our corporate also? Sir, if we have a mission, we know what is to be done. In management, we call it Management My Objective, MBO, mm -hmm. which was again formed by Mr. Peter Drucker. So we must have a mission. If we have a mission, we know the goal. We know what is to be done, how much is take, how to prepare ourselves, what preparations are required, how much time is required. And that target has to be met on time in the quality that organization needs. That's why mission is very, very important. Only then you can achieve the mission, achieve the target, achieve the goal. Uh, it's a great insights on uh, leadership, uh, then on vulnerability, and about in team uh, work, and also on the mission. Like, uh, how about the com commitment is crucial? Like, you know, look at the army uh, from the military aspects and from the corporate aspects. So, commitment is, I think, one of the best qualities of any person. If we are not committed in our private life, our family life, our professional life, we will not be respected we will not be able to do our duties and we will fail in every every task that given to us commitment is an inbuilt leadership quality which must be there in everybody without commitment you are not respected you cannot fulfill your task and people even you cannot have friends if you are not having commitment so commitment is something which is a very very great quality like honesty Good. It's a great, uh, interesting uh, business lesson what we got from the military correlating with the corporate world uh, by Dr. Uh, Brigadier Dr. Minal Nag. It's an ex excellent insight so what we are getting from his experience, his uh, experience of 27 years in the Indian Army and also in the corporate and then into the education at the international level. Uh, do catch up with uh, Brigadier Dr. Minal Nag in our next episode on T-Talk, uh, T-Talk Ibn Sochke exclusively story of his on TikTok show just go to www.ttalk.net subscribe like the channel as much as you can so thanks a lot for being part thank of you, it. Sir. thank, thank you, you very much thank, thank you, you. Thank you.